Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for April 25th of 2023. Well, it is titled Northern Lights over Southern Europe. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of the aurora. And usually, if you get to see an aurora, you tend to be very far north. And that's typically uh, areas in Alaska, northern Canada, Scandinavia, etc. The very far northerly or very far southerly latitudes. That's where the aurora is generally visible. However, this one, we had a large one visible very far south into the southern United States, places like Texas and Arizona, and down into southern Europe as well. So a lot of the area was able to see this. Now this one is taken over Spain in southern Spain because and it was because of a coronal mass ejection that occurred uh, a couple of days ago and those particles travel through the solar system. Now they're charged particles meaning that they're positively and negatively charged particles protons and electrons and positively and charged particles don't like to go across magnetic field lines. So they'll follow along Earth's magnetic field and some of them will get buffeted away. So our magnetic field protects us in many ways from storms such as this and that the other ones some of them however will follow along along the magnetic field lines and will eventually strike Earth's atmosphere where those magnetic field lines come in to the atmosphere which is near the poles. So most of Earth is protected by these regions around the poles do get a lot more of these solar charged particles streaming in. Now when they do that they strike uh, oxygen and nitrogen atoms in the Earth's atmosphere giving us very distinct glows such as what we see here today. Now this is caused and occurs when the sun is most active generally the more active the sun is the more auroral activity we will see. Now for the past few years we haven't seen a lot of auroral activity because the sun has been at a minimum of its 11 year cycle. Now as we come out of that minimum heading towards a maximum in a couple of years, the sun is getting more and more active and we will see far more auroral displays visible to larger parts of the world as there are more and more storms uh, that will deform Earth's magnetic field making those, the, this type of display visible at even at more southerly latitudes. So that was our picture of the day for April 25th of 2023. It was twi titled Northern Lights over Southern Europe. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Lunar Triumph. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.